So this is my Bluedy EB3A. So you can see that the input light is blinking. That's the solar panel here. It's about seven in the morning. Now yesterday, this charge, this D, this the charge went all the way down to zero. The char yeah, I've got, I've had it plugged into my solar panel since I got it. So the charge went all the way down. This is actually a little bit warm here. Um, <clears throat> the charge went all the way to zero. Then it charged up to thirty-one percent. None of the none of the outputs are on. By the way, I mean this is plugged in here, but you have to you have to hit this button, and then it says DC to turn the DC output on. So it would charge up to thirty-one percent. No output on. I get up this morning at seven a.m. Eight percent charge. So so it lost twenty uh, twenty-three percent of its charge because. The stupid thing will not go on unless there's one amp of current coming through the DC, the, D, the solar charging port. So if I just want to have this thing sit around and, and continuously be charged by my solar panel, uh, it, it won't work. It just doesn't work because it's constantly, de it's just discharging with no output on. Now if I put the output on, it loses... A ton of power like I have no, I have about you know like one milliamp a load hooked up on onto here uh, and it, it, it with with any of the outputs on it discharges even further so you know I would put this device in somewhat of a useless category because uh, you can't keep a charge you have to literally unplug it or it self discharges because this display never turns off it sees that there's some voltage on the on the solar panel uh and but it's not an amp so it tests it and then it 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 it, it turns off but the display never turns off and uh so there's there's that plus whatever other circuitry runs and um and it drains the battery so yeah blue d eb3a uh none of the review none of the reviewer viewers talked about this not one and uh, it seems like such an obvious flaw. Like if you're a professional reviewer of solar uh, power stations, which is what these are marketed as, you would think that you would pick up on that, right? But uh, so it really makes me question all of the, the, the entire, like the community of reviewers that review this stuff, because not one of them talked about this gigantic problem with this device. So anyway... Thanks for watching.